Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video, we're doing the USA forecast. For today's second video, we're having a look at the weather for the next six weeks across the United States. This will get us to Christmas, can you believe? So uh, first, a snapshot of what weather could be doing in America uh, for Christmas coming up in this uh, particular video. I shall get on that for you in a moment, just to say about the first video, say, was our 6am upload. And we're going to be live streaming from 6pm this evening. We're going to have a Wednesday evening live stream where we will be live streaming the 10 to 14 day out. So everything that we will do in a regular 10 to 14 day video update, we're going to do it live for you at 6pm tonight. So I shall see you uh, with that. Please like, share, subscribe to the video. So you can search everybody doing that. Thank you search at ecf.int for supplying these charts as well, by the way. That's great. Thank you, so much, EC, for doing that. Right, so you can start off with the week one mean sale pressure anomaly for North America. This takes us from the 14th to 21st of November. We've got a ridge of high pressure or area of high pressure across the far west and northwest of Canada and into northern and western parts of America. That will be sending the jet stream southwards and there'll be a trough of low pressure through here somewhere uh, that will be bringing colder air down across the country. You can see it a little bit better with the 500 millibar heights actually. The above average heights from the Pacific Northwest into that northwestern corner of Canada and then most parts of America are under this large trough of low pressure. And what that trough does, it sends the jet stream southwards and uh, that allows colder air to move in from Canada and the Arctic into many parts of America. We have got a ridge in the far southwest, and that's going to be bringing milder air, warmer air into the far southwestern part of the, uh, of the country towards Florida. But most areas are under that cold, tough, low pressure. So check the temperature anomalies out. Very substantially cold average from coast to coast, right way from the west coast all the way to the east coast. We see below average temperature anomalies, and the core of the cold in the uh, far north and uh, western part of America. Days of temperature are normally below 10 uh, Celsius, below average. Bearing in mind, America does things with Fahrenheit rather than centigrade. But you get the idea that this is a very, very cold uh, week. Actually, it would be about 20 Fahrenheit below average. I think 10 Celsius, 10 Celsius, you know, would be about 20 Fahrenheit below average. So, um, wow, wow, wow. Widespread cold from coast to coast in we don't see that very often. A really cold week currently going on in much of America. It is also relatively dry, though. Uh, although these northern states have got some precipitation, because that's all going to be snow around the Great Lakes, for example, into these northern states with such cold temperatures. Not this, that's going to be snow. Of course, it's pretty wet down here, actually, despite that ridge that we saw. We do actually above average rainfall around the uh, Gulf Coast and into Florida as well. So probably that cold air is clashing with the warmer air uh, down there in the far southeastern corner, and that would be generating heavy showers and thunderstorms, I suppose. Driest weather is in the far northwest, where we're close to that ridge. High pressure is plunging cold air southwards, so the driest weather is actually in the northwestern corner. Um, and this is a little bit more unsettled on the east coast, well, the eastern seaboard, so certainly the chance of some uh, wintry conditions there towards the uh, east coast, heading up into the far northeastern corner. That said, many areas, as you can see, are drier than average in the week here. So, a very interesting week to start us off. Week 2 will be the 21st, 28th of November. Signs of a bit of a change here. The high pressure looks like it's moving southwards as lower pressure starting starting to develop in the northwest and so that's probably going to be lifting the jet stream back northwards again so look at the 500 millibar height anomaly see how that's looking so um, we find that the trough of low pressure bringing all that cold air it looks like it's lifting out to the northeast and also to the northwest heights rising to the southwest and off the east coast of america as well i think this segment should see a bit of a recovery in the temperature well, but actually it's still quite cold so it's uh, relatively mild in this far northwestern corner um again down towards uh, like some parts of florida it's not as cold through these western regions where it is exceptionally cold this week it's not as cold in week two so there's a little bit of recovery 
in the temperature going on. However, it is still largely below average. As we go further eastwards and southwards, actually, it still looks really quite kind indeed. Three to six degrees below average across many of these southern states and extending up the eastern side as well. So the car is not going to lift out all that quickly. Uh, even though the patch is changing a little bit next week, actually, next week is also looking pretty cold across large portions of America. It's not as cold as it is this week. The precipitation anomaly looks like that. A little bit of a three-way split. So in the northwest, it's uh, wetter than average up here. So uh, low pressure coming in off the Pacific. Uh, it's also pretty wet down in this far southeastern corner, around Florida and around the coast of the Carolinas, for example. And then it's drier from like uh, some parts of California going up towards the, the Great Lakes, a drier swathe through there. No doubt with uh, plenty of frost and fog over potentially in some areas, anyway, snow covered ground. Right, week three will be the 28th of November to 5th of December. Uh, this week. <coughs> Sorry, everybody, this week looking rather unsettled with uh, low pressure coming into those western and uh, northwestern states in particular. 500 millibar height anomaly looks like that. So a trough of low pressure is in the northwest and also just to the northeast. We have got this ridge building to the south, but probably going to try and drag up milder air in some of those midwestern states uh, in particular. Temperature anomalies look like that, so we see that the Midwest is beginning to turn milder, as is the southern state, so like from that, so like from um, the Gulf Coast and uh, Texas and whatnot, for example, going up towards the Great Lakes up here, um, we see that the temperature anomalies perhaps going a little bit milder now, but it's not so it could still be a little bit cool around these eastern coastal areas, and also in the west, it looks quite cool in the west, especially in the northwest uh, again. Some of these northern states still with those current average temp temperature anomalies lingering on from weeks one and two. Precipitation looks like that, so uh, still pretty wet in the west, particularly like California up the west coast um, to the Canadian border. Otherwise, dry and average across many of the southern parts of America and also in the southeastern corner as well as the eastern seaboard, pretty dry through those uh, regions. Right, week four will be the 5th through the 12th of December. Ever weakening signals. We've got a bit of high pressure up towards Canada. Uh, I've got some lower pressure down towards the far southwest. Otherwise, there's not a lot to work with. The 500 millibar height anomaly uh, has a ridge over the central and eastern parts of America with a trough out in the west. The temperature anomaly looks like that going milder than average across these northern, central and eastern parts of America. Above average temperature anomalies predicted there, colder out into west and into the northwestern states. And the precipitation anomaly. So it looks a little bit drier over on the east coast. Um, but rather unsettled through these midwestern states perhaps and over towards the uh, west coast of America as well. Week 5 will be the 12th to the 19th of December. Now we really have got very weak signals, so let's put in uh, a couple of question marks. It is not clear what's going on there. 500 millibar height, height anomaly is also looking very um, uncertain. Uh, temperature anomalies for week 5. So it's cold in the west and in the northwest. Otherwise, again, not much to work with. Mild in this far North Eastern corner, but not a great deal to, to work with there. And the precipitation anomaly. Um, yeah, weak signals, what's rather wet through these central states, uh, perhaps. And then uh, lastly, week six will be the 19th to 26th of December. So, then we've got a hint of a bit of, so it's going towards Christmas, of course. We've got a bit of a hint of a trough of low pressure, perhaps into the uh, north and northeastern part of America. That would be quite interesting. The 500 millibar height anomaly. Looks like that. So definitely inking, but a bit of a trough is forming there. That, of course, will be bringing colder air south. So we'll come back to deliver a white Christmas through some northern eastern parts of America. Let's see what temperature anomaly is doing. So um, 
This is all going to be cold through the central northern states. It's a very weak signal, of course, six weeks away, mild in the extreme northeast. And uh, the precipitation anomaly, lastly, looks like that. So the southern states look rather dry. Uh, the northern states look more unsettled. There might be something going on there. A bit of a hint that bats uh, get towards Christmas, might start digging a trough in. But of course, would deliver cold air. And maybe White Christmas, who knows? It's a long way off. Right, well, we're starting off very cold across many parts of America this week. And uh, next week, we'll be pretty chilly as well. But a gradual recovery in temperature. Looks like it's taking place at months then and into the beginning of December. And then where we go from there, you know, uh, remains to be seen. If you have enjoyed this yesterday forecast and found it interesting and informative, then please like, share, subscribe, why not drop a comment? And we thank you so very much, everybody, for doing that. I'll see you all at 6 p.m. when uh, we're going to have our live stream. we we'll be live streaming our 10 to 14 day at 6 p.m. We'll be taking questions and whatnot. So I shall see you uh, live for that. But uh, for this one, that's all for now. And thank you so much for watching. Our next yesterday forecast will be next Wednesday, by the way. And uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you later on. Bye for now.